Mystery so welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video about all of my unread books because I've been going crazy with book buying in recent months and uh, I have been reading a lot but I still have so many books I haven't read yet so I'm gonna go through all of them and uh, we're gonna count them because I want to know what I got myself into. So obviously I can't go in into any detail about any of them really because otherwise the video would be very long but we're just, we're just gonna go for it, okay. The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. The Song Rising by Samantha Shannon. The Rook by Daniel O'Malley. The Martian by Andy Weir. Yes Please by Amy Poehler. House of Leaves by Mark C. Danielewski. One Child by Mei Fong. Brides of Roll Rock Island by Margot Lanigan. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. The Crane Stance by Meg Howery. Das Bad by Yoko Tawala. The Historic Materials Trilogy by Philip Pullman, consisting of Northern Lights, The Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass, even though I actually have read the first two when I was a child, but I want to reread them, so I count them as unread. <laughs> Burial Rites by Hannah Kent, which is a sneak peek of my next book haul because I haven't even hauled it yet. La Double Vie d'un Song by Min Tran Hui, Hui, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons Part 1 by George R. R. Martin. Re Kusaido, the Lakeside Murder Case by Keigo Higashino. The bells are tolling forever. This is very ill timing, very bad timing. Black Like Me by John Howard Griffin. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Tender is the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. The Beautiful and Damned by F. <laughs> the Beautiful and Damned by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Do Not Say We Have Nothing by Madeline Thien. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. King Arthur The True Story by Graham Phillips and Martin Keatman. The Return of the Native by Thomas Hardy. How to Lose Friends and Alienate People by Toby Young. Snow White and the Seven Samurai by Tom Holt. The Alloy of Law, Shadows of Self. And The Bands of Mourning by Brandon Sanderson. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. All Our Pretty Songs by Sarah McCary. The Golem and the Genie by Helene Wecker. My Favorite Manson Girl by Alison Umminger. The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. Talon by Julie Kagawa. The Prague Cemetery by Umberto Eco. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith. Tales of Old Japan by A.B. Midford. The Eternity Cure by Julie Kagawa. Asunder by Jodie Meadows. Stravaganza City of Secrets by Mary Hoffman. Checkmate. And Double Cross by Mallory Blackman. Sarashina by... Shibara something, someone. I can't read that. New Penguin Parallel Text Short Stories in Japanese, edited by Michael Emery. Paradise Lost and Paradise Regained by John Milton. Divant by Marlene Haushofer. Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouveau. Salka Valka by Haldor Laxness. Volume 87 of Detective Conan by Gosho Aoyama. The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey. Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb. Unbearable Lightness by Portia de Rossi. The Dark Circle by Linda Grant. By the way, if you think that I should be focusing on any of these books in particular for my project TBR for 2018, which I'm definitely planning on doing again next year, please let me know in the comments down below. I really want to know what you guys think I should read as soon as possible. If you're confused as to why I look different, it's because I went back to Vienna to uni and here I also have some unread books so I just needed to split this video in two so I could show you all of them. But anyway, let's continue with the books that I haven't read yet. Kafka on a Shore by Haruki Murakami Tokyo Vice by Jake Adelstein Bird Box by Josh Mallerman The First 15 Lives of Harry North uh, <laughs> Harry August by Claire North There we go the End of the World as We Know It by Iva Marie Palmer. The Chrysanthemum and the Sword, Patterns of Japanese Culture by Ruth Benedict. 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami. This is the bind up of all three books um, and I have read the first one so kind of like book two, I've read like half of it I think and uh, book three I still have to read. Grotesque by Natsuo Kirino. The Night Watch by Sergei Lukyanenko. I've actually already started this book and then I just like kind of lost interest. And since then, some people have told me that it's not a good book, so I might just like DNF it at some point. I don't know. Tray Displayed by Sebastian de Castell. Man and Superman by George Bernard Shaw. Uh, Shinegami no Nani Nani Do. <laughs> Accuracy of Death by Isaka Kotaro. It's in Japanese and I can't read this word. 
Magic Kaito Volume 1, Persuasion by Jane Austen, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, which I'm actually currently reading, and by the time you see this video, I might already be done with it, but I don't know, because I'm like 50 pages in, so. The Beauty of Murder by A.K. Benedict, Winter by Marissa Meyer, Traps by Mackenzie Bezos, Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, Dragonfish by Vu Tran, The Black Prism by Brent Weeks, and Thief's Magic by Trudy Canavan. So that is it for all the books I own but haven't read yet. It's a dreadful number. I'm sure I will put it somewhere on the screen and like count it while I edit. Uh, it's too many but also I'm happy with it because it means that all of these adventures lie still ahead of me and I cannot wait to get started. Let me know in the comments down below which book you think I should read next or which book you think has highest priority. Side note, I have already read The Essex Serpent that I might have shown earlier. Um, but apart from that, I don't know yet what I'll read next. I'm currently reading Outlander, but other than that, let me know what you think I should read. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and come back very soon for another one. I will see you then. Have a lovely week. Bye!